Now that we have the toolpaths set up to cut out this part, let's say that you wanted to cut out multiple copies of it. Instead of redoing the toolpaths again, you can actually make a pattern of the toolpaths. And to do that, you just select the individual operations that you want to do. If you want to select multiple operations, you can hit Control and select. So you can notice that I have those highlighted and then just hit the pattern button. The pattern button allows you to make a linear pattern or a circular pattern or a mirror pattern, etc. So let's just say we want to make a linear pattern. For the direction one, you can select a line here and then you can choose a spacing. Notice right now it's only shifted 0.4 inches by default, which is not enough. And so we can go to two isn't enough so maybe two and a quarter inches looks like there's sufficient spacing there and then we can put the number of instances that we would like we could also add an additional direction if you wanted to make more of a rectangular pattern and so you could choose direction two maybe to be perpendicular to that and we could say maybe that's um, a three inch spacing there and let's say we wanted to flip the direction instead of going down, we wanted to go up, we could just hit flip direction and we would make copies to go up. And then you hit OK and it makes a pattern of all of the operations. Now um, notice we have a pattern here that has the individual operations nested in the main folder. If we added an operation, we could just drag it to this pattern folder and it that operation would be patterned as well. 